Hi, in today's video I am talking about some skincare ingredients that I personally love. They have been around for centuries with so many benefits that go way beyond the skin and I'm guessing you are already using them in some way, shape or form. My name is Abigail James, I'm a skincare expert and facialist and welcome to my channel. about essential oils. I'm going to be sharing some knowledge and some tips about how to use them at home and how I personally love to use them and some of my favourites. Not all oils are the same. Purity of the essential oils is really important. You'd be amazed that there are so many essential oils out there on the market that have had added chemical aspects, synthetics added to them, making them not as pure as you might think you might be buying. You might be choosing essential oils because your passion or your where you're coming from is you want a natural product when actually the essential oil has had some synthetics added to it. So purity is key. Okay, so I'm gonna share three different ways that I like to incorporate essential oils into, into my life, basically. It's something that I've done for years. So to me, it's just second nature. So firstly, I like to add them into my bath time routine. For me, bath time, it's not just about getting clean, it's I can shut the door, it's my space, uh, it's where I, whether I, I switch off or if I need some mental clarity, but that's, that's my time. And I find adding scent to that process just aids where I want my mind to be. You know, if I want to be relaxing, I'll be choosing certain essential oils, but actually if I want a bit of mental clarity, it'll be something different. One of the key things though, when you're adding essential oils to the bath, don't just shake them directly into the water. I know it's very tempting to, but the essential oils are gonna sit on the surface of the water. And then when you're laying the bath, the oil is gonna just be drawn to your skin and we don't want the pure essential oils really on the skin. So what I generally do is get some Epsom salts or bath bathing salts and sprinkle the essential oil onto those and then put those into the water and then it helps disperse them into the water rather than sitting next to the skin. So some of my favorite oils, I've picked out three that I wanted to share with you, uh, dependent on my mood and what I wanted to achieve. So firstly, I have Serenity Blend. To be honest, I love buying individual oils, but I love the blends as well. You know, I'm not an aromatherapist, so when a company has blended them specifically, I kind of trust, <laughs> I trust their knowledge and skill to have blended this with a certain outcome in mind. So Serenity, it's kind of sweet and powdery, slightly woody, it's a little bit delicate, lavender, cedar wood, vetiver, that might even be, to be honest, one of my favorite of the blends. Or maybe it's just that I feel like I, I need that at the moment. So that one is Serenity. If I'm feeling I want some mental clarity on a situation, whether it's work or family or, or whatever it might be, I go for, where is it? I go for their blend called Balance. So this is fresh, it's a little bit sweet, tiny bit woody, the spruce, eucalyptus, blue tansy, chamomile, the chamomile is definitely coming through at the moment. So yeah, there's the chamomile, which I think we all know that chamomile is a relaxing one, but then with the spruce and some of the other things, it's not like a, oh, I'm gonna fall asleep oil. It's just got a little bit of, like I say, gives me some clarity. So then the next one I like to use, and this is if, uh, I, I don't know, I wanna feel a bit happy and I just want a little bit of a pick-me-up, I use their blend called Elevation. So the, there's quite a, quite a mix of essential oils in here from, actually there's a real citrusiness coming to, through uh, at the moment. So yes, the citrus is a little bit floral. I think you've got lavender, Ylang Ylang, Osmanthus, Tangerine, Clary Sage, Hawaiian Sandalwood. There is 
it's quite a complex blend that, but it definitely, it picks you up. So those are my three that I like using in my bathing rituals. So another way that I like to use essential oils is with these kind of roll-ons that brands make. So these are very different to the pure essential oils that you might buy, whether they're individual or the blended, but the roll-ons usually have a carrier oil, like a coconut oil or something like that, which means they are totally safe to be applying directly to the skin. I have a variety of these around the house. By my bed, I've got a collection of them, uh, on my office desk, in the kitchen. They're kind of situated in places where I know there's certain blends that I kind of feel that I need at that particular point in my day. So obviously the ones by the side of my bed are the ones that are going to be more calming and relaxing. And I must admit, my other half finds it hilarious, my evening routine, from my chamomile tea, every night without fail, you know, my whole skincare routine, whether it's a bath or not. Um, but then I'm into my essential oils, whether it's a bed spritz, but the roll-ons, and this is one uh, from doTERRA that I love, it's their calming blend. You've got lavender, chamomile, I know they're the cliched, slightly more relaxing oils, but I just love them, I'm just naturally drawn to them. There's other bits and pieces in here as well, but using roll-ons, they're just so easy, pulse points, like that, I must admit, being totally honest, when I'm in bed, I'm literally rollering them up my arms, not just on my pulse points, uh, you know, behind ears, those kind of things. And then one of the blends that I have, actually this one isn't a blend, it's an individual oil, it's rose. I often keep this on my desk. I find rose, oh, it's just such a, it's a feminine, I find it uplifting as well. It's just a beautiful, delicate scent that I just love. And I find sometimes during my work day, I don't know, I'm, I'm just drawn to that kind of thing. So those are just two roll-ons that I use, but there are many, many more options. Okay, and then my third way of incorporating essential oils into my life is by blending my own body oils or something that I, I want to massage onto myself. Being a therapist, which I have been for many, many years now, massage is something that it's just ingrained in you. We, you know, you learnt it at college and you do it to other people, whether it's face or body, and you do it on yourself, your children. It's just one of those things that follows you through in life. And I think self-massage is an amazing way of self-care whether it's your hands, you know, they're easily accessible, your feet. And obviously there are loads of pre-blended oils that you can buy, but if you wanted to play at doing something on your own, it's a nice way to be able to do that. So if I'm kind of thinking of something that I would like to massage into my feet at the end or even the beginning of a day, I want something refreshing and reviving. And there's two that are kind of my go-tos when I'm thinking of blending something for my feet. One of them is tea tree, antibacterial. I just find it, I don't know, there's a woodiness to it. It's just, again, from working in spas, doing pedicures for many years, tea tree is, it just immediately takes me back to that, that space. And then the other is peppermint. So peppermint, it's uplifting. If your feet are feeling kind of heavy and tired, Peppermint is one of those I just find adds a bit of a bing and an oomph. So those two, I'd even kind of combine those two uh, into a bit of a, an oil blend. Coconut oil, olive oil, uh, almond oil, apricot kernel oil, any base oil that you can then few drops of essential oils and then massage them, that moment of self-care with an added bit of oomph. Um, so if you want more information about essential oils, blending them, tips, tricks, knowledge, doTERRA have so much information on their Instagram account. So please go and check out that 
if you want lots and lots more information. So I hope you found that helpful. Please do. I'd love to know how you like using essential oils. So please let me know in the comments below and I will look forward to seeing you again soon.